Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to hopefully resolve the issue you're having with Zoom. And it says, cannot connect to our service. Please check your network connection and try again. Error code 104101. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys, on how to resolve the issue. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu and type in control panel. Best result should come back with control panel. Go ahead and open that up. Set your view by in the top right to large icons. And then you want to select the Windows Firewall from this list or Windows Defender Firewall. Go ahead and just select that. And then on the left side, you want to select where it says allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. And then you want to select the change settings button right here. And then you want to scroll down and locate the Zoom video conference item in here, assuming you have Zoom installed. I do not. Not that it makes a difference for this tutorial. Again, you just would go down to the Zoom video conference and you would check mark the private and public options for that. And then you would select OK to save the change. So again, pretty straightforward process on that, guys. And then once you're done with that, you would go ahead and you would select the advanced settings button over here on the left side and then select inbound rules. You would go down again to the Zoom video meeting area in here and then you would right click on it and select properties. And you would want to make sure that it was set to allow the connection. Again, you go look for Zoom. You would select the properties option in the right click menu that appeared. And then underneath action, you would select allow the connection and then you would select apply and okay. And you would do the same for outbound rules as well. You do it for both of those. And that's pretty much it guys at this point. One final thing we can do just to kind of wrap up this tutorial would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And then into this elevated command line window, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS. Flush DNS should all be one word attached to that forward slash out front. Hit enter on your keyboard. Should come back with Windows IP configuration successfully flush to DNS resolver cache. And now you want to type in N-E-T-S-H space Winsock, W-I-N-S-O-C-K, space reset. Once again, exactly how you see it on my screen. And hit enter. Should come back with successfully reset the Winsock catalog. You must restart the computer in order to complete the reset. At this point, close out of here and you want to restart your computer. And then hopefully this point your Zoom video conference software should be working properly. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.